Well, I finally finished my latest plane project, and I've got a set of three planes that I'm going to give my niece for her birthday. I'm a couple months late, but she understands I'm building something. She doesn't know what it is, so it'll be a surprise still. Uh, I'll get a close-up of these and let you uh, see what they look like. Okay, we've got a, an 8-inch coffin-shaped smoother. These are, again, these are all Babinga with a uh, ebony strike button. Uh, I went ahead and stamped her initials and the year uh, in the back so she'll, in 40 years from now, she'll remember where, where they came from and, and when she got them. Uh, we've got a jack plane here. This is a Razy style cutout. Um, it's about 15 and 3 quarters. Uh, originally I thought to make it 15 and somewhere along the line I forgot to cut part of it off and I was finished before I realized it, but that's okay. It works just fine. And a 24 inch smoother. Uh, this one's a little bit wider. These two are 2 inch wide blades. This one's 2 and a quarter. And it was a little more trouble because I couldn't buy two and a quarter inch uh, A2 steel. I had to buy two and a half and cut it down. Considered making the blade two and a half, but it's a pretty good handful to hang on to now, and it's pretty heavy. Uh, even with the the razy cut out, it's still got a pretty pretty good uh, bit of weight to it. So it it should work great with that weight, but uh, it would have been a little big with a two and a half. So I'm, I'm pleased with that uh, two and a quarter width. Here's a little bit closer look at the wedge and the tote. And you can see the, the chamfer on here a little bit. The back end on the jack and the joiner have a half inch round over. I didn't use a chamfer on the top of the uh, smoother. It's chamfered on the corners but it's just rounded over on the front and the heel and the, and the sides. Uh, the way you grip it is just you're just pretty much holding the whole thing so it's, it makes it pretty comfortable. After I got them finished and, and realized that they're kind of bulky to carry around I decided to go ahead and make a tool tote that she can, that's kind of custom fitted to it. So I'll bring that up here. left the compartment a little wide on this front side because I also made a, a pair of uh, winding sticks out of the same, this is all out of one board, uh, the planes and the winding sticks and they kind of fit in here wedge against each other and keep the, the two planes in the front from slipping around so we've got a nice little carrying box with a handle I've got just enough material left from this board uh, to make an adjusting mallet for the planes, but I'm only going to get one shot at it. If I make a mistake, I'm, I'm out of lumber. So I decided to go ahead and, and make a prototype out of uh, some maple that I had laying around and uh, let her try this out and see how the handle fits her hand and, and if it's a heavy enough uh, head on it. I'll go ahead and glue a piece of leather on the end here for hitting the wedge and the, and the strike button and this end being narrow it'll be less likely you'll hit the body of the plane with that but just use it to adjust the blade. Well that pretty much wraps it up. I've shot a lot of video of the process of building these so hopefully it'll, I'll eventually get that edited and put some clips up of uh, what that looked like and I uh, hope you enjoy it.